Today we are going to go into the history to look at some of the first tobaccos uh, that have been smoked in a pipe. But um, not to go too far right now, let's dig into it. First place to go on this journey, that will be Jamestown Museum, Virginia, United States. On May 13th, in the year 1607, the Indians saw three ships closing on their shores. The members of the Virginia Company decided this is the place to build their new settlement. There is much more to be said about the settlement and their importance to the tobacco we smoke today, but that will be told in a future video. Now let's get back to the Indians. The Indians were living in an organized society where they lived in covenant with nature. They cultivated the land and they collected from nature what they needed. They kept seeds from one year to the next, so they could keep supply of food. They were fishing in the river, and they were hunting the animals living in nature. So what about tobacco then? That was about time you asked that question. So, what about it? The tobacco they had here at the Pohatan village, growing over here, that was Negociana Rustica, very strong, very harsh tobacco. Perhaps a few more information, but I know who to go to. Hi Nancy. Hello. Would you present yourself? My name is Nancy Agloff. I'm a historian with the Jamestown Yorktown Foundation here in um, Williamsburg, Virginia. We do know that they cured over the fire, dried, dried it over fires. Dried it over fire. A fire, yeah. uh-huh. And then broke it up into powder and put it in their pipe. That has to be a heavy smoke. Yeah. <laughs> because the nicotine content in, in, the, uh -huh. in the rustica uh -huh. is very high. Well, and see, it was smoked only by married men, according to the sources, men who had at least two or three wives. It was a high status item. So it was smoked by married men, and it was used in a lot of rituals, offerings yeah. to the gods. Um, burials, was used in burials, high status burials. Um, so it was a very high status item, the tobacco. And the high nicotine content probably contributed to its status, you know. So we know the Indians smoked it in pipes. But how did the English find the taste of this tobacco? It's bitter, it's biting, it's nasty. I want some of the, the good stuff. It was a challenge to make a smokable flake tobacco out of Nicotiana rustica. But the goddess of tasty tobacco smiled at us. At the end of 2018, we started making chew bags for oral use. And the tobacco we used was the rustica. Not the ones that the English have found by the Indians. This grade was sun cured, which means it leaves sugar in the leaf. But still we have to soften the tobacco, because it was too strong. Why not use some Virginia tobacco that the settlers would have grown in 1617? 1617 is not just a year, it is the year the settlers learned how to air dry Virginia tobacco. The tobacco was hung under the roof of the houses, and smoke from the fireplace came into contact with the tobacco giving it a slightly smoky note. After countless attempts, we found out that we needed a bit of modern burley just to balance the tobacco. It sounds easy, but it took a long time from we started until the flake was approved. So how could we make a tasty flake out of a tobacco described as bitter and biting? Two things were crucial. First, the rustica we used was sun-dried and contained sugar. Second, we used steam for pressing the flake. Hot pressing has the ability to mellow the taste and turn it into a more gentle experience. Or in short, it blends the taste into something completely new. It is a unique result. It's one of a kind and it offers a different taste experience than you're used to. The story origins by the native Indians goes via the settlers, it is pressed with steam and packed into a tin. Thank you for watching, stay safe and happy smoking. If you like what you've seen 
and you like to see more, please subscribe to my channel.